think about uh, you have a career before. Career, I don't like this word because it's like looks like a chamba maker. Yes. Yeah, metal yeah. life. Yeah. 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 So you were, you were in, you was in down of Asasil. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it was pretty extreme stuff from New Zealand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we are curious about what the fuck in New Zealand. And you are managing these acts that are like the last stand of uh, strong metal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So tell me what is your opinion about it because you have now the Ukrainian uh -huh. and you have this. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, Rissiak, yeah, this Vesikant, there's a few bands from, uh, from our country. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's a party band, right? Of like bands of the style, you find them. I think Canada is the one we can right? Canada is a little unusual, but apart from Canada, they come from like South America, they come from New Zealand, they come from Australia, they come from places in yeah. the world. And Poland as well, a little, not good. They are extreme people. But, but I think all, all these places, right, if you live in Germany or you live in the United States, the UK, you think like, oh, if I could play this nice metal, I could make a lot of money and be, you know. More stupid. Yeah, exactly. But in, in our country, it's, yeah. it's impossible. It's so far away, you know. And so it's not that different than in, like, South America when you're in New Zealand. Like, New Zealand is a first world country. You know, the infrastructure and things is, is better than in, in yeah. countries from, like, Third Latin world America. Country. But it's the same thing, like, it's very expensive to fly to America, is very difficult All stuff. Right. So people are like, fuck it, like, let's just create oh, some wow. crazy kind of music, right? So it's that. The other one is that, I think, if I say so myself, yeah. uh, is that my first band, Jordan Vazdell, we did our demos uh, in our first album. Uh, that was very big in New Zealand, in the underground scene, like, you know, Matt, we were a very big band. The first band, when I first started playing in uh, 1998, 1997, no band from New Zealand had ever been to Australia, there was no real scene. Uh, there's like one or two bands, like Malevolence and things playing from the dark, but there was like no real scene. And, you know, we started doing what we were doing, and we kind of almost created a new scene, and other bands came up. And I think we inspired a lot of bands to play that kind of style. And I say so myself, I think Diocletian borrowed a lot from the imagery and some of the sound that we created at that time. And that was just because when I was like fucking 17 years old, I heard it yeah. on like a radio station. Yeah. And I used to go to every Friday and get drunk with the guys. And I was like, what is this? This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then I, at the same time, uh, uh, Antichrist Superiority, the demo from. Uh, Conqueror came out, and so I wrote to Ryan Forster, and, and so it was just just that time. So I think we were like a little bit ahead of our time, and then it became quite popular there. So I think also there's a lot of yeah, the younger generation in New Zealand metal who are like 17 years old coming to our concerts that heard stuff that sounded like Blasphemy or Conqueror and that kind of stuff, and that was what inspired them, right? Super strange. And, and, yeah, and if, if, you, if you've been in like say Los Angeles, 17, you would have seen something different, right? But I think like the biggest band for all these kids was my old band, which was playing like Black Metal kind of style. And I think like it's not all me, but I think they had a bit to inspire why the Russian Mexican, that Christian, all these bands came on was because they knew that style because they heard us playing it, right? So, so it's, it's a bit of that. Like I, I, I didn't create this. I didn't create this. You know, these guys were all amazing bands with amazing people in them yeah. who create their own music. But I think there's a little bit of an influence. So they had just the biggest band at the time when these guys were like 17, 16. It was like a woman kind of band, right? So, so I think that's kind of what influenced that sound to come from New Zealand as well. Yeah, but the, the sound is amazing, man. It's My opinion, there was many old guys, 40, 50, uh, in, in, into melancholia, and they are just remembering their youngest time. Yeah, for me, it's also, for me, it's a dangerous weapon, uh, and I'm more into into this field. The music that the, the, the Christian plays is uh, pretty savage and uh, chaotic. Uh, so it's not because I love, love 90s. It's uh -huh. because it's, in my opinion, it's challenging shit. Yeah. Not challenging like uh, this guy that plays many notes. It's challenging because it's morbid. It's yeah. ugly. Uh, 
Fabad. Ik hoor een cien voor cien. Ja. It 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 it's there like um like like we're saying like the play you know like uh, dream theater stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's hard to play, but I think it's equally as hard to play very simple, primitive stuff and play it right, right? So if you play that, you get one of these like great musicians. They can't play this, music, right? Because they're like this is wrong. Yeah. This is bad. This is like you know play it too too nicely. You've got to have like the spirit and your heart or something yeah. like that to play it right. And, and I mean I think it's. Like Brandon has been playing this music in London for a very long time. I've been playing for like a long time. Emerson, our drummer, he's been playing like in, in bands and now like for a very long time. And Marcus, you know, he's been involved like from a very young age, or, like when I was doing my university arc and stuff like that. So I think it's you've got to get the right people in, right? You can, yeah, you can be a great guitar player, whatever, but if you don't understand the music, you can never play this. So. It's a strange, music is a strange thing. Uh, uh, I think, uh, in my opinion, it's a very anthropological uh, thing. When you came from the cave, people uh -huh. were manifestate art. I agree. Uh, made what they, you cannot like in art because you are expressing something. I agree, I agree. So you can be a super talented guy or super primitive guy, and, and, and but you is, want to express something. This is where music is going in the future, right? Because right, right now, you've got these like AI things which can make a song like this, right? You're right, I want a song that sounds like this artist and that artist. Um, you know, it has this thing, and you can press a button, and a computer program will create like a song, right? You know, because like especially like the show that you play there, you're like you're, the person is right there in front of you. You feel them, and this is a real human being. It's very, uh, yeah, this human is being, right? the point is very. This, that's what art is. Like, what is art other than like expression? Yeah, I, like I can talk to you. It's like that thing, like a picture paints a thousand words. I can talk to you all night, or I can play the song, and you'll I can say something which I could never explain to you in words. Yeah. And, and weeks, right? You know. Sorry, the last words to promote your latest album. Of course, we'll promote your... Yeah, it's Horrible Nexus. Check it out. Yeah, it's, it's war, it's ugly, it's nasty, and that's what we want it to be. And, um, yeah, uh... No, yeah, just just have have a listen to it and give it turn it up very loud. See, I think you've got to do with it. La última palabra es para los de de Sudamérica y otros países si habla español. Quiero mucho ganas para tocar con ustedes. Yo no sé exactamente qué planes, qué fechas, pero sí existe los de este plan, de este costo de futuro. Posible este pasado. Sí, nos gustaría ver en Sudamérica. Sí, sí, real metal. Tengo muchos cantos. Okay, para okay, esto. Okay,